And she kept on saying, yeah, oh, Jake was really, really reassuring. And, yeah, he just was so reassuring. And I'm thinking, my babe, what reassurance did the guy give you? Apart from saying, you're my girlfriend. Imagine you having to beg a guy to say, I love you. And you're there, like, giving, like, bare smiles. And you're there, bare giggly. Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Trey Stars. You know the vibes. Welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so I'm back with another review of the latest episode of Love Island, yeah? If you guys missed any of my previous videos, I'm gonna link my reaction video playlist at the top. Just so if you guys wanna catch up on any of the episodes, yeah? Then obviously you guys can do that. And yeah, I man, as always, please make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe to the thing down below. You guys know. And yeah, man, Lego. So at the beginning of the episode, yeah, we seen that Liberty was basically talking to Jake, yeah? And it's kind of like she's having doubts. And all my days, guys, yeah, can we please take a shot? Every time Jake says to Liberty, you're my girlfriend. Different between type and girlfriend, you're my girlfriend. Oh my days, I guarantee, yeah, you'd be a very drunk person right now. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, listen, if we had to take a shot every time he says that, like, oh my days, like, why does he keep having to say that? And the fact that he keeps on saying it, yeah, but I've never heard this guy once compliment the girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've never heard him say, oh, you're so beautiful, duh, 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 I wanna fuck you, or I wanna, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I've never seen him gas her up like that. That would definitely be like a red flag for me, man. Like, imagine being with someone, yeah, and the person don't hype you up, do you know what I mean? Like, what kind of relationship is that? So, yeah, man, I definitely feel like Jake, I just don't know, man. I just don't feel like he's the guy for liberty. And I've been saying that. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Definitely let me know what you guys are saying about that situation in the comment section down below. And also at the end, yeah, after they finish having that conversation, yeah, Liberty says to Jake, I love you. But the guy didn't say it back. Never mind saying it back here, he didn't acknowledge it. So that's just like a little bit odd to me. Like, this guy is definitely not feeling the girl, man. He's definitely not feeling the girl. And even like with Faye, yeah, Faye was talking to Teddy and she was saying that she feel like Jake is a showman. And then also she was saying that she don't feel like they would work on the outside as well, do you know what I mean? And I kind of do agree with her to an extent, yeah. But also as well, coming from Faye, it is like a little bit strong, do you know what I mean? Because how do you know that you and Teddy will work on the outside? Do you get what I'm trying to say? But yeah, man, definitely let me know what you guys are saying about the whole Jake and Liberty situation in the comment section down below, man. But also as well, yeah, you know when Liberty was talking to all the girls on the terrace, yeah? And she kept on saying, yeah, oh, Jake was really, really reassuring. And yeah, he just was so reassuring. And I'm thinking, my babe, what reassurance did the guy give you? Apart from saying, you're my girlfriend. Like, what did he give you? Like, she keeps on banging on about this word reassurance. Like, do you even know what that is? Do you know what I mean? And I feel like with Liberty, I don't know, man. Like, Liberty is so... I don't know. It's just like... I feel like, you know, when you love someone so much, you just literally cannot see through their bullshit or through their shit. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't understand how you can be so freaking... Oh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, Liberty is actually really, really annoying me because, oh. And also as well, yeah, there was this one part where Toby was giving Jake advice, here, yeah? And I felt like that was, like, really, really sweet of Toby, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, who would have thought that my guy would be there giving out advice? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, no one would have thought. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like what I really, really do like about Toby as well, yeah, I really, really love how his, like, character has, like, really, really developed throughout the season. Do you know what I mean? Because I remember when he first started, yeah, like, fam, everyone hated him because he was the villain. And now all of a sudden, yeah, it's so crazy how he's turned his story around yeah and now everyone loves him and now yeah everyone's basically rooting for both chloe and toby to win do you know what i mean but yeah man definitely let me know what you guys are saying about that in the comment section down below all right guys so next thing that i want to talk about yeah is the challenge yeah so first comment that i want to talk about yeah is the most one-sided relationship the top three most one-sided relationship and then obviously we've seen that jake and liberty was at the top liberty and jake And Liberty was freaking shook like the girl was like the girl never has spitted it <laughs> I never has spitted it She never has spitted it, do you know what I mean? Never in a million years expected me and Jack to be up there with the one-sided thing at all Literally at all, just mind blowing And I feel like everything that us, the public, has been thinking, yeah Now, Liberty is kind of like getting like a little uh, glimpse of that if that makes sense, do you know what I mean? Because obviously my babe wasn't expecting to be one of the couples who was at the top, do you know what I mean? Considering the fact that she and Jake are girlfriend and boyfriend, yeah So she wasn't expecting it, man Also as well, yeah, the next comment, the most genuine couple Top three, most genuine couple Liberty and Jake, there was not even on the podium <laughs> There was not even on the podium, there was nowhere to be seen And that again should be telling Liberty something, do you know what I mean? That should be telling us something that obviously this guy, he's not the one for you, man. Do you know what I mean? And also as well, the last comment that I want to talk about here is most likely to split up 
on the outside and then we seen that Jake and Liberty was at the top again. So the most likely to split up on the outside is Liberty and Jake. <laughs> and yeah, I man, I felt like the whole atmosphere was like really, really awkward. G I'm trying to say like it was really, really like it was bare silences. Yeah, it just wasn't it, man. But yeah, man, definitely let me know what you guys are saying about the challenge in the comment section down below. Also, as well, after the challenge as well, yeah, when Jake was talking to the guys about you know like the challenge, freaking Tyler, what the frick, man? Like he went and opened his big ass mouth here yeah, and said to Jake, "Oh, I was talking to Kazia, and then she asked me whether or not he thinks that Jake is playing a game." And we me and Kazu have a normal conversation. She stopped. She looked at me dead in my eyes and said, Do you think he's genuine? And I was like, Fuck me, are you starting to believe in that as well? Sort of thing. And I'm thinking, that's a conversation that you and Kaz had in private, do you know what I mean? So why are you now going and opening your big, big mouth here to Jake? Like, where does your loyalties lie? I felt like that was completely unnecessary. In my opinion, I don't feel like he should have said anything about that because that was a conversation that you and Kaz had in private. So I was a bit confused as to why he mentioned that, if that makes sense. But yeah, man, definitely let me know what you guys are saying about that in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, towards the end of the episode, yeah, we seen that Jake and Liberty were having a conversation on the terrace. First of all, I just felt like the whole conversation I just like number one big up to Lib for actually you know like getting everything out that she wanted to say about you know like why he hasn't said I love you how much things is for the cameras did it do all that yeah big up her for getting all those questions out obviously number one I said I love you four weeks ago when you asked me to be your girlfriend you haven't said that back to me you know everyone said that I get that however why not number two how much do you actually like me and how much is the camera number three I don't want to be a mug and be feeling that why that's one sided like you need to communicate with me what is going on and how you're feeling too I just don't know there's just something with Jake that is just not sitting right with me do you get what I'm trying to say to me he was just waffling like he was talking bare shit do you know what I mean? Like, to me, it just didn't make sense here. Yeah? And then he was talking, 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 yeah. And then eventually, he was like, he said, I love you. But then to get there, he was kind of like laughing or doing whatever he was doing here. Yeah? And then Liberty was there, yeah, like one idiot, talking about, oh, get it out, get it out, get it out. Just let it all out. <laughs> I'm thinking, my babe. <laughs> It just seems so freaking forced and then right when he finally said I love you to Liberty yeah the girl was there bare smiley smiley and then I'm thinking imagine you having to beg a guy to say I love you and you're there like giving like bare smiles and you're there bare giggly do you know what I mean like that 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 wouldn't sit right with me because why the hell would you have to beg someone for them to show you that they actually care about you apart from saying oh you're my girlfriend do you get what I'm trying to say? Why do you have to beg someone? That conversation seemed like it was kind of like beggy beggy. It was kind of like Liberty was begging the guy to say, I love you. Like, fam, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to freaking do that, man. And also, as well, I just feel like I'm just so freaking tired of this Jake and Liberty storyline. Like, they keep on dragging it out, man. Like, on Sunday night's episode, yeah, we've seen a teaser of all the girls sitting down with Liberty, yeah. And then, yeah, she's kind of asking them, oh, if they feel like Jake is the one for her and all this, like, bullshit. But I'm just so freaking tired of the whole Jake and storyline. Like, all oh, my days, like, I just don't know no more. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? I just don't know for the two of them, man. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are saying about the whole Jake and Liberty situation in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, those are basically the main points that I picked out from this episode, yeah? If you guys felt like I missed out anything, let me know in the comment section down below. And then obviously we can talk, man. All right, guys, so that was just like another quick review and look around up of the latest episode of Love Island, yeah? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys did make it this far, as always, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know the vibe. And yeah, I'm mean, gonna see you in my next video. My God.